It always comes to this. Yeah, so I had that session with Terry yesterday. Um, I'll put some pictures in here of how it looked fresh after the session. Uh, we did all the way. We touched up all the red again. Um, I don't think we needed to do that. This is not me saying that that was necessary, but we definitely did do that. So my only real um, want for that session was to get the red in behind the tentacles and connect everything. Um, but. Terry figured since we were there and we had time, we may as well. And I was on board. I'm don't tempt me with a good time. You know, I'm always ready for more tattoo work. I don't love getting my neck tattooed, but uh, Terry and I were more or less like, you know, let's just we'll do it all today. <laughs> we won't have to bother the neck again for a while. Which the red on my neck hadn't been done for six months. Believe it or not, it's already been that long. Um, we did it at the end of November, and we're at the end of April now. So the face red we did at the end of December. Um, but a few weeks ago, maybe even a few months ago, I had said that this could have been redder if it weren't for the fact that the face was, this black was done fairly recently. Um, I think that we've got a chance this time for that to be pretty red. Obviously we hit the chin again while we were there. And the big difference with the chin this time is normally when we hit the chin, you have to work it pretty hard to get the color in there or the black in there. Um, this time Terry barely had to work on it. So it just kind of activated it a lot easier. So like I've said about second passes, third passes, whatever, they go a little easier. And so I, did, I don't have any scabbing or any like dry, chunky skin there. Normally when I um, have my chin tattooed, it gets pretty thick, pretty crusty feeling from dried blood and plasma and stuff. It bleeds a lot when you tattoo your chin. I've talked about that lots, so I'm not gonna carry on too much about that, but, so, uh, we got the sideburns, we got the hole under the neck, we got the hole around the, the roses and the throat, and we brought it up behind the roses more and solided that up a bit more on both sides. So you can see that here, I'm sure. Hopefully I'm showing that off. Um, and then we had time at the end, so I had Terry do the little white highlights in my face roses, like we did in the neck. So those have been highlighted now, so they'll be the same tone as the ones on my arm and neck. That was something I had booked in there with him uh, a few weeks from now for just like a quick, quick session at the end of his day, but uh, I figured we got time, we may as well hit it. And uh, I wasn't having a terrible time anyway. We were just shooting the shit anyway, so uh, may as well hit those. It only took about five minutes to do them, and they're not fully saturated. There's just a couple of white lines in each part um, to create high points like we have everywhere else. And again, uh, they're going to be about the same as the rest of them. Seems like that third pass keeps real white. And uh, we didn't want to do the whole thing. We just wanted high points, you know, highlights. So just a little more definition in my face tattoos. So it was a really great day. We did about four hours, maybe a little more than four hours. And uh, just a lot of fun. It did everything I wanted it to do. Now I can't wait to bring the red even farther. <laughs> but for now, it's at a good place. It's not like it takes very long for us to, to do more later. So um, better safe than sorry. I will show off uh, how my sleeve is healing up with Rick. It started peeling. It's mostly peeled. Some parts aren't peeled yet. So this is uh, four days after. And these chunky outlines are taking a little while longer to peel. You can see there the difference between where it's peeled and where it hasn't. Pretty sure. Um, there's a couple spots in the inner bicep that didn't do as well. Let's see if I can even show them. Um, you can see it there, kind of, in the eye there. Um, it's just a little bit patchier. So it's not quite as dark. So that is peeled over here on the outer bicep. And then on the inner bicep, in some of the eyes over here, and I'm not doing a good job of showing it 
but you can see it's a little fainter. Um, Rick sort of expected that, so it's not really a big surprise, and it's not something that I'm unhappy about either. Um, he did a lot of black that day, and my inner bicep, as I mentioned, was a bit leathery. In fact, in one place he thought it was going to need a touch-up, and it doesn't. Like in here, he thought that was going to be mostly pretty light, but that stayed pretty dark. So it just goes to show that um, even though the skin is giving you some hesitation, sometimes it, uh, it might be saturated better than you think because that actually took fairly well. Um, but yeah, just that one spot. Particularly, there's a couple of the eyes here that are just a little faint. So overall, it did really well, and it's still very striking. So um, looking forward to doing more on that with Rick here in a few days. Um, I do have another session coming up with Terry next week, of course. Uh, hopefully we'll do that. That's going to be a shorter session. We're just going to be doing uh, another pass on the red on my hand. So, um, as I mentioned before, it didn't take really well down here. But you can see that we're building up the, la the layers of the red. Um, obviously, the knuckles didn't do super well, but we're getting there. So, I don't care if we do another couple passes on that. That's totally fine with me. Um, I'm enjoying the whole thing anyway. So, uh, And it healed really easy last time for it especially considering my hands so I'm not really dreading it um, yeah it was a great time though um, seeing it this full the red it's really easy for me to imagine like a year from now how colorful my whole suit is gonna be just because I'm enjoying like adding these color elements so much and the color is really changing everything it's really adding like a whole new dimension to my suit and uh, I don't think I could have got that with just black and gray or black and white on black elements so I think I've definitely made the right call um, this is coming together to be as what I said it would be um, something of my first suit and my blackout um, uh, meeting in the middle so it's a bit of the best of both worlds in that there are there's color but it's darker and it's not nearly as flashy and it is more um it's more on point so like the themes aren't as separate so um i had so many themes in my first bodysuit where this i really just have two and i'm gonna keep it that way so yeah overall uh i don't like having my neck tattooed i've mentioned that before i'm never a fan of it but um, when you get that much done that fast, you're kind of like, yeah, I could do as many of those as I need to, to have this work. But I think that, um, as solid as my neck was before and the red was staying really well, I mentioned that the, the red seems to bully the black, um, not the other way around. Um, I think having done that second pass on all of that, I think that, uh, with given how solid my neck was already the red on my neck was already um i think that having done a second pass of all of that i um, really boldened it all up i think that uh, it's going to be super super um solid and consistent throughout the whole neck um i don't know that there were any real weak spots in it before but it was probably a little duller than it will be now um don't quote me on that but uh i'm pretty sure when i show this off when it's healed it'll be a little closer to say um, how it is here whereas it was a little bit more um, like it is down here in my neck and that's just that's just the fact that the color wasn't as concentrated um, so in saying that I don't expect or plan for my neck to be bright fire hydrant red like my old tattoos were I, I have bright red over black already we have that over here and on my chest. So those were done once and twice. Um, we used a bright red for that though. We specifically chose uh, Red Velvet Fusion because it is darker. And my idea was always like, I don't really want to color this. I want to like tint it. So it's almost like a red black, you know? Um, so that overall the tattoos, though they are colored, they're uh, darker colors and Oddly, one of the things that sucked about having full color tattoos before, as bright as they were, is 
um, it was actually hard to dress for. <laughs> it's gonna sound funny, but like when I had bright red all around my neck and my chest, and I had bright red roses on my head, it was uh, really hard to, to, you know, match that. It was uh, always such a huge, flashy kind of candy bubblegum statement that. Um, I want to be a little more subtle than that and not say that what I'm doing isn't extreme or anything like that, but um, the colors that I've used this time are more earthy and more uh, like subtle. They're not as in your face and uh, so they suit my sensibilities quite a bit better. And I'm really liking how the, uh, the grayscale white and black on black as a foreground um, versus the background of the dark red is is working uh, we're definitely gonna have more of that dark red on this sleeve too so look forward to more red velvet in the future anyway uh, I'll be having another session with Rick this week we're either gonna be targeting um, this part of my arm and maybe coming back up and get some of these lines or we'll be in the inner bicep uh, I'm not exactly sure but we've probably got two more sessions like the last one to do before we're on to the the actual shading and filling in component and then as I said I'm gonna be hitting my hand again with Terry so um, yeah that's what's coming up next I'll talk to you guys again soon have a great day